Here is a GMN spindle, HSX100 SDU 90003. HSX is the spindle type, 100 is the outer diameter. SDU means coolant through, 90,000 is the speed, and three for three kilowatt. The six digit number after that is the serial number. And if you look at the back of the spindle, you can see all of the motor data there, your voltage, frequency, power, speed. Back here, you have all of your media connections, your oil connections, your coolant connections. Also, there is two drains there for oil and coolant. That's coolant through the shaft, and this one is air curtain to the back of the spindle. Coming off the spindle, we have a male plug and we're gonna connect it to the female plug going to the drive. You'll notice there's always three motor leads and one ground. On this spindle, we have thermistors for motor protection and also has a speed sensor. We will connect these to the terminal block. Depending on how these three are hooked up, it will run in one direction. If you want it to run the other direction, you have to swap two phases. Then connect the thermistors to the drive in case of motor overheating. Connect the lubrication lines to the spindle, making sure they're in tight. Turn on the lubricator and let it run in pre-lube mode. Once this runs for nine cycles, it will automatically switch to normal mode. Then connect the coolant lines. You have coolant in in B1 and coolant return in B2. Then connect the oil drain line in the T. The S3 is the air curtain and the L drain for coolant. Adjust the lubrication pressure to the spindle. It should be just around one bar. After a while, it's normal to see some oil coming out of the front of the spindle. Then turn on the chiller. Open the valves to see the coolant coming through the spindle. The coolant comes into the spindle, cools the motor, cools the front bearings, and then goes back out of the spindle. Supply around one bar of air pressure to the air curtain. Turn the main power on to the drive. Enter the motor parameters into the drive, including acceleration and deceleration times. Enter rated power, RPM, voltage, and frequency. Start the spindle and make sure it's spinning the correct direction. If the spindle is running in the wrong direction, you must swap two of the motor phases. Once the spindle is running, make sure that the bearing temperatures are okay. Also check the motor temperature and the coolant flow rate. That is the basic setup for high frequency oil air lubricated spindle.